Hi my friend, welcome back to my channel, maybe I haven't made an article on my channel for a long time, but with pleasure, today I will show you about the Samsung A21SA217F binary version 7 auto patch firmware, in advance I thank you to my friends with their support so that this channel can develop and progress as we all know, that to be able to use the auto patch file for Samsung devices. Our device must first have unlocked the bootloader, so, here I will show you all the Samsung A21S. Binary version 7 auto patch firmware from the start of unlocking the bootloader until we can pair the device this auto patch firmware on Samsung A21S, before we can start, support me by subscribing so you can get the latest updates from this channel forever, ok, how do you do it, watch the video from start to finish, let's go. This is Samsung A21S. First step, connect device to the internet using Wi-Fi or cellular data. After connecting to the internet, go back to standby mode then open settings. About phone, software information, build number tap 7 times, and go back to settings, scroll down, developer option, Enable OEM Unlock and enable USB Debugging. Return to Standby Mode, then turn off the device. Press both volume buttons and immediately connect the device to the PC. Press and hold the volume up button to unlock bootloader mode and press the volume up button once until the device restarts automatically. Now we can unlock the Samsung A21 bootloader properly. We are waiting until the device returns to normal mode. After the device has returned to this view, we can set up several menus to go through it until the device returns to normal mode. Reconnect the device to the internet using Wi-Fi or mobile data. Return to normal mode, then open settings. Scroll down, about phone, software information, build number tap 7 times and back to settings. Scroll down, developer options, if you don't find the OEM unlock menu, because it is still hidden, open and close the settings application, then tree again to look at the OEM unlock menu. Until we see it, if seeing the OEM unlock menu, activate it then. Enable USB debugging. Return to standby mode. Then turn off the device. Press and hold both volume buttons and immediately connect the device to the PC. If there is a warning written, 
Just press the volume up button once until the device enters Odin mode. Okay, now we see the auto patch file that is already in our computer. Here there are three files. This is the auto patch file, Samsung A21S. This is Magisk patched APK. And this is Odin Flash Tool. Extract Odin Flash Tool, then open it and run it. Here there is already a serial com from the device. Enter four files auto patch Samsung AWE ones to each, the name of the file in the Odin Flash Tool. and click start to start the process of flashing Samsung A21's auto patch file. Wait for the process to finish. As you can see, here the process flashing auto patch file is complete. We can close the Odin flash tool and we'll see what the results will be. The device has returned to initial mode, set up as usual. If can't proceed to the next setup, just connect the device to the internet and set up again to back in normal mode. Go to Settings, scroll down, About Phone, Software Information, Build, Number Tap, 7 times and back to Settings, scroll down, Developer Options, Enable USB Debugging and immediately connect device to the PC.
copy Magisk patched APK on the computer to internal device memory. Remove cable from PC and try to see that there is already a Magisk application. Open My Files and install Magisk Patched APK until it's finished. After it's installed, then open it if there is a notification requires additional setup. Just click OK, and the device will restart automatically in 5 seconds. Wait until the device returns to normal mode. And now just open Magisk application and congratulations. Now you can install auto patch and auto root firmware on the Samsung A21S, A217F correctly. That's my friends, how to flash the auto patch file Samsung A21S A217F binary version 7 which I have shown to all my friends, for the file once again I have provided it in the description of this video, don't forget to open or bookmark my website page at www.dgdroid.org for the experience of reading my articles with articles about Android devices as well. On my page there are lots of files or tools that might be able to help you with Android device problems and maybe that's all the video I convey, support me by subscribing to you so you can get the latest video from me forever, wait for my next video tutorial and thank you, goodbye.